I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Monday morning, the 15th of July, 2024, and this is your friend, Angus Bucket, with a thought for the day. We start off in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 3, verse 10. As a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation, and another builds on it. But let each one take heed how he builds on it. There is no quick fix job. There's no building on the sand. Matthew chapter 7 verse 26 tells us, But everyone who hears these sayings of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who builds his house on the sand. We cannot wing it. We cannot just quickly make a plan. Everything today seems to be done instantly, but it doesn't last. You see, when the storms of life come, the building will not stand. We must build on the rock. Who is the rock? His name is Jesus Christ, especially for those who are coming after us. You see, when a building collapses, it doesn't just destroy the builder, but it destroys many other lives as well. As Christians, we have an obligation to others. I can hear somebody saying, well, it's my life. I can do as I please. No, you can't. When you gave your life to Christ, you surrendered all your personal privileges. We are now living for the Lord and we're living for each other. You know, I remember a story of a young missionary that went to the Congo. And this young man, he worked night and day. He was so passionate for the Lord. But you see, he wasn't spending time with God. He was building a hospital. He was building a school. He built a beautiful church. He never rested. He never spent time putting down foundations in the Lord. He was literally working himself to a standstill. And the villagers were coming to church and they were serving the Lord. And they were so excited about what was happening. One Sunday morning, they arrived at church. And the young missionary who lived in a little hut, the door was closed. And they thought, what's wrong? He's normally up early. He's normally first there. And then they knocked on the door. There was no answer. They broke the door down and they found that the young man had taken his life. He had committed suicide. They were devastated. That whole congregation went out. They closed the door and nailed a sign on the door. There is no God. And they went back to their former lifestyle. Be careful that we don't upset and chase other people from God because we are not building on the rock. Jesus is the rock. First the Lord and then the ministry. First the Lord and then your family and your future. Jesus bless you and goodbye.